Subscribe to new little YouTube channel and go stop ping pong the notification bell. Subscribe to new little YouTube channel and go stop ping pong the notification. New links, top vlogger, top vlogger. Big up new links, cause in my top vlogger. Vlogging it. Bless up, bless up, bless up, viewers and subscribers. Big up on yourself, man. I don't know the thing, you know. And I want to say happy Sunday to each and every one out there. You don't know the thing, go attack, attack. So them say, at the final Sunday. Of this month, you call February 2021. So, you don't know the thing, people. Well, right about now, people, why today for some family in Jamaica and for many friends who know this man right now, people, it's not a happy Sunday for them, it's a really sad one. And a lot of people overseas who was waiting for his return back into the United States of America in Brooklyn, New York, because this man, people who was on in Jamaica on vacation, people from November up until his death. Right now in this month called February people and a lot of people still can't believe what them say go on with this man. So now I have an article people about this incident what took place in Point Hill in Riversdale in you understand in St. Catching people and I'm telling you it's not a good look people. You get me answer because there's a lot of speculation in this and the way things turn out and look people yo it have a lot of people puzzled and it even have me puzzled because when I read the article people and I try to break down this thing, I have to say Jan was something to write into this thing people, no joke about it. So let me just read so you can get what I say now people and fully understand now what I talk about. Zane, a family at Point Hill district in St. Catherine is flamberghasted by what police describe as the undetermined death of Delroy Lewin 53. Lewin who originally is from Point Hill also live at Riversdale in St. Catherine. He migrated to the United States a few years ago and was living in Brooklyn in New York. His Point Hill family said he arrived on the island in November last year, claiming that he got paternity leave and was spending time with his girlfriend and their newborn daughter in Riversdale. Lewin initially was scheduled to leave Jamaica on Tuesday, February 23rd, three days after his birthday, but he reportedly stated that his flight was delayed until 7 a.m. the following day. On the following day, February 24, Lewin disappeared. Reports are that someone at his home in Riversdale saw him on the day he went missing. At that time, he reportedly was leaving the house without his belongings, suggesting that he was not heading to the airport. Lewin's body, eventually, was found two days later on February 26 in a dry river located miles away from his Riversdale home. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, said its detectives found two liquor bottles with a liquid substance as well as an incestatide pamphlet this at the scene. It added, reports from the Linsett police are that, at about 2.30 p.m., residents tumbled on Lewin's body and summoned them. On their arrival, the body was seen on its back with a cardboard too. Disposable mass, two magnum bottles with liquid substance and an incesticide. For flat, his body was removed to the morgue, pending post-mortem. The police noted that their probe is continuing. Amid the investigations, Lewin's relatives in Point Hill are questioning whether foul play was involved in the demise of their loved one. One of them told the news a man who have him green card to go back to the US and the out here in Jamaica so long why him would do something like that? Why him would choose to go so far in a gully? Of course, go that to himself. Another relative claimed this need proper investigation. Up to the time of his death, Lewin was employed to an airport in the United States. Before his mother filed for him, he worked as a cane cutter, partly as a Rurdy Park sugar estate in Lydersville, St. Catching. Janua, Janua, viewers and subscribers. So, big up on yourself again, people. You understand? Wow, how this look to you now, my viewers and subscribers? This man was in Jamaica, right? Listening up. From November last year. He came to Jamaica for paternity leave because of him newborn, seen? He celebrated his birthday, people, like three days before he went missing. And after seeing comments and things, people, people who know him personally, you know, are saying this man was like partying weeks before this happened. So they still can't believe why would he do something like this. Zane, they said he was partying and enjoying himself. He wasn't a man who they know like, you know what I mean, who they want to stress out or want to do something to hurt himself because he was a man who was employed overseas, have his green card, he wasn't a man in a problem or this or that, so what could have led him that day 
when he was scared, he only understand to leave the following morning because him fly the lake because he was getting ready to go to the airport. So what could have transpired that lead him to go do something like that to himself and to carry himself way out on river down there so people with magnum buckle, two magnum buckle and this and that in it. Viewers and subscribers, as I'm telling you before, it have me puzzled also. And to me, according to the family of the mass of people, they need to do a proper investigation. And this brings me back to the story we covered a couple of days ago about the incident where them took place down there in Westmoreland people with the man who them find tie up in a house and something people and them go find him van one different part of Hanover with TV, fan and power sign them something there in that. You understand? And I'm telling you that this investigation going to lead to somebody who is very close to the man. Well, people, police still carry them investigation into that one. But back to this topic, my viewers and subscribers. This is one where me a pre people, no joke about it. See, I me a look into my thinking cap because I tell us that one of people, it's very tricky, you know, easy for pre. But look on it. This man, people, what could I really lead him for God hurt himself? See, two magnum buckle, cardboard up on top of him, up on him back, people. I know how criminals are working nowadays, people. Criminals, I'm telling you how they are working. They are working just like them over them, people. See? Them find methods and ways how to deal with things and make you got a different thinking. So, in the end, people, I'm not going to say them no pour that down in body and in the inside of him or something. But, definitely, people, something not right. Huh? Honestly, it, it seems, you know, and the more, way you have to look at and pray, yes, it's so, don't it? It's so, yes, yeah, that you have to pray because them say two magnum buckle and them say substance in there where them say, you know what I mean, an intestine style that, are, you know, a piece of that basically. But honestly, my viewers and subscribers, why would this man really want to hurt himself? What could have transpired? What could have been the reasons? And that's where the investigation is going to lead to, you know. Did this man have any problem with any family member that would lead him to this? Did he have a problem with his baby mother? Is, did he find out that the child is not his child? You understand? That's how they think we have to have and him stress out or something. Because he was scheduled to leave the morning. Remember, he was to leave the day people in the radio up you know, and gear up for going, you know. But him flight get delayed, so boom. In the morning, 7 o'clock, he wanna get ready for go here, port and, and you, you went missing the day. Somebody see him, and from there, so they not hear gun for him. They not hear nothing more about him until three days after them come to boom and find him body down on a river. Post was listed out here that he went missing people. A lot of family was curious, a lot of family was hoping, praying for the best, you understand? Because them not think that nothing funny would have really happened to him that way. Which them not expect say he would have went missing because them know as a man who when him did it, him their own him family is not a man who them know say he goes through and gone certain place or do this or do that. Because he was well been known. A lot of people know him. He used to work as a cane cutter for a Rory Park estate. So he was well been known. But what could have really lead to this? And that's what have people puzzled now. Hmm? Why would he want to hurt himself just after celebrating his birthday? And I'm telling the people, so this man was partying, was enjoying himself, having fun. So what, people? So it's a shocker to many. You know, it's really a shocker. And I'm telling the viewers and subscribers, boy, it's just sad to know how you know, these returnees or these foreigners can have some incident nowadays in Jamaica. And, you know what I mean? A lot of people are going to say, yo, boy, I mean, I go back and every time, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's going to go back to where that, you know what I mean? Something they are cost Jamaica and I deal with Jamaica away. But things do happen, people. Honestly, it happens. And it's a sad situation. But I can list it, people, and say, yo, as somebody do it. But all I can say, people, some proper investigation needs to be done. Because, as I'm telling you, criminals nowadays are finding methods and ways how to deal with things. And this looks like something where people where me I tell us, it's not right. It just don't right. So viewers and subscribers, I don't know the thing going on, people. I'm more loving and more respect. And just continue out there and be safe in the people. And just continue to do the right thing. You understand? And then happy Sunday again, man. Because it's a blessed one. Me feel so blessed today. And me feel so strong and so healthy. And me give God thanks. So hope you all feel the same way. And if you don't subscribe already, people, please do subscribe now and hit that notification bell. So as I drop a video, you will get them. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter also. New Link Production. Peace, people. Love, respect. Be good. Be great and be safe out there. Attack. Big up on yourself. I'm out.